guys, it's me, Rad. Yes, stranger. It's me. Um, today I'm doing a proper video. I'm sorry if I just sound a little bit upset. My ear is bothering me, so you're just gonna have to apologise. My voice, and I'm not feeling very well. But um, I'm dedicated to this channel. This is something that I created and I love it too much just to leave because of a few complications in life. So if you didn't know I was thinking about leaving age YouTube but this channel is mine and for that reason I'm staying on age YouTube. So what better as to start off with just a normal video as if nothing ever happened. I know I haven't done a proper, proper video in like two weeks which is absolutely ridiculous but I really do apologise and hopefully I won't ever go through this again but I'm dedicated to this channel and even though I don't feel well I, I just I needed to do this for you guys. You guys have been there for me so I'm here for you. So I thought today's video should be um, a helping video. So today I'm going to um, say some tips on starting a YouTube channel. I do know that some of my subscribers or friends, some of those people, they haven't, they've got channels but they don't post any videos or anything. Maybe of a worry that they, that they might not be able to work a YouTube channel or something like that but today I'm going to give you tips on how to start a, a YouTube channel that will hopefully become successful and please before any hate comes I'm not trying to say my channel this happened in a previous video I'm not trying to say my channel is successful there are people like for instance let's say Taylor Swift who has like 17 million subscribers that is called a successful youtuber I'm not saying I'm successful so please don't come down below that I'm big-headed or something I don't think I'm a successful youtuber I think I'm a pretty small one and um, it was like in one of my previous videos called 20 types of fans um, I, I did say at the beginning of the video, I'm not trying to call you guys fans because you're not, you're just subscribers and friends. I'm not that popular, you know, I, people were still saying why are you call them fans, they're just people and like your channel's not big enough, so I just thought I'd get that out in the air. Okay then, so let's start today's video. Obviously I'm with Elizabeth. Um, okay, so me being <laughs> a probable expert on all this, um, I have run a YouTube channel for one and a half years, I've nearly been on YouTube for two years. Um, I've been on Age YouTube for like two years and for the first few months of YouTube I didn't really create any videos so that, that probably slowed things down a bit. I mean I think I didn't know about it for like six months so I bet I would have been a bit higher than I am if I already had, um, if I had started YouTube quicker. But uh, my first step is to in don't make just like a random video because that can just confuse the heck out of people. I mean, I did that, and I never really introduced what my channel was about until my channel got more successful. Again, I'm not trying to say my channel's successful. I mean, successful for me at least. So, like when my channel got to 100 uh, subscribers, that's the point that I thought that I should have explained who I was my dolls and everything like that that's like that's what I've done but to be honest I think you should really do that at the beginning of your channel videos that you can do for instance are like um, um, an all my dolls video a draw my life or um, an introduction video a channel trailer something like that because then people will know about your channel they'll see what you've got and then they'll like it that's my number one tip, it's something now which I had done instead of doing a really really bad slideshow of a series that didn't even last through season two, so um, yeah. Um, the next tip that I have is to, it's basically, this is a video tip, I mean for future videos if you're planning on doing videos always try to be yourself in your videos if you try to be like other youtubers that just doesn't 
work like you always have to be yourself in your videos that's what I strive to do through my channel because I do a mix of doll and human related videos although I have had criticism like people saying oh yeah my dolls will totally understand this through sarcasm of course even though I have got that I still strive to make sure that people see that I don't really care and I'll still do those type of videos so always find your own way I don't see many YouTubes that do age YouTubers I mean age YouTubers that do what I do which is a mix I haven't seen many just like a mix of everything and that way your channels you'll get more views and it's just better that way so always be yourself and if you do get criticism don't let it get to you it's just always better that way um, another thing that I suggest for your YouTube channel is always think of a better name than I did. Always think AG Lover 1, 2, 3, 4, forever. People have said that's a pretty cool name, but I think it's a very, very basic name. AG Lover 1, 2, 3, 4, forever. There are so many more creative names than mine, and it's so long, and yeah. That's why I came up with AGLF, AG Lover Forever, because people used to say how long it was so always try to think of a short and snappy, snappy name if your n name has nothing to do with American Girl at least your profile or picture should so you could have anything but as long as your profile picture has something that way people can't recognize you um have the proper equipment a camera or an iPad or something like that something that you can do your videos on I mean if you're doing it on a phone and if you ever seen those videos that they're not bad all the videos on them are good because all videos on YouTube are good what I'm trying to say is that um, that when the screen goes in a rectangle shape because someone's videoed on it on their phone the videos are good but it always annoys me I think I'm on my tablet but I'm actually on my computer and I'm trying to turn it around and that just never works so always try and do it on something that you'll always get a good quality on and for the people that are always asking me and i can never find my camera to tell you i use the hd ixs 145 canon camera a tripod for example if you don't have a tripod most youtubers use like a bin or something uh, that's a another tip another tip is also if you feel comfortable monetize your videos I do this, as you may know, from my copyrighted content story video. Um, yes, I monetize my videos. This way you can get paid. And for people that have been asking, you don't get paid. You get paid in installments, so you get paid in sections of money. So you'll get you'll you'll get money every time you earn one hundred pounds. So monetize your videos. If you do get enough money, if you do get that £100, and please can no one comment, ask me how much money I earn, I'm sorry but that's very personal at the moment due to the fact of what has happened recently. Um, you can get equipment, you can get stuff for hauls for your AG videos, it's actually really helpful. If you want me to do a tutorial on how to monetize your videos, I'd be more than welcome to do it. I could do it on my other account, I wouldn't mind. And yeah. And so we've got a few more tips. This video is very basic. I just want to do a video, but um, yeah. Um, lay out your channel well. And when I say lay out your channel, this, this just helps. I mean, it just helps. Just lay it out so that there's not just one line of videos laid out so you have a what to watch next section previous videos all your videos you might have customized playlists and it could just give your channel a nice vibe to it um don't don't i don't know how to say this um let's try and think about it saying it differently Try to, try to be one of the other age YouTubers. Don't try to, don't, don't try to drift off in your channel. What I'm trying to say is, this is why I do a mix of doll and human videos because 
if I didn't do it a mix, then I would want to do human videos and then leave AG behind. So what I'm trying to say is that try to be like um, people have come to see a specific type of video because your channel's about American Girl dolls. So if you suddenly start using humans in your videos instead of dolls, I mean of course you're gonna use humans, I mean I'm human. Um if you suddenly started using humans in your videos, people might get really confused. I've seen this happen a few times. And it, yeah, these are just basic tips. I'm pretty much done. These are pretty much my basic tips on starting a successful YouTube channel. The main thing is to be yourself and to just have fun. I'm sorry if you can hear beeping, not beeping, a uh, horn. There's a train station uh, by my house. Um, yeah, basically. So I know there are only a few, but hopefully this will help you if you're really starting, trying to start out on YouTube channel. I think this video about my estimations is like 10 or 11 minutes long, I'm very sorry, but I, I I haven't done a video in a long time, okay, I'm trying, I know two weeks is a long time, but for a YouTuber who has a very precise schedule, two, two weeks is like two years. So thank you so much for watching, I hope to get back into my normal schedule, if I don't, well, I'm not leaving, so you'll know that I'm definitely not leaving, so you'll know that I'm just trying to find a right timetable for me. School's being very hard on me now, so I'm just trying to make the best out of a bad situation, really. Doing homework every night, coming home tired every night. So being a YouTuber as well. Sometimes I just want to become a full-time YouTuber and leave everything behind. So I've got to go now, but thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a lovely evening and start a YouTube channel and have fun. <laughs> so I'll see you all in my next video whenever that is. I love you all. Bye for now guys. Bye. Brad and Elizabeth out.